Hey guys, how's it going? Move Motion Graphics here, and today we'll be taking a look at how you can create this 80s looking retro vibe intro in After Effects. More specifically, we'll be focusing on how you can make this grid system as shown in the intro. It's fully 3D and you can animate it with cameras and displacement maps. More importantly, without any plugins. So as for any start of the new project, you just want to make a new composition, leave anything you want, press OK and make a new solid. So we're going to name this solid Displacement and we're going to make another solid on top of it called Grid. For now you want to leave the Displace layer alone first, so you want to go to the Grid layer and search for this effect called Grid and apply it to the layer. As the name suggests, the effect Grid basically generates a grid for us with our own specified width and height. So you can play around the values to get the height and the width of the squares that you want. And afterwards, we're going to make an adjustment layer on top and we're going to find this effect called Cut Dance. So Cut Dance is an effect that basically takes an image and breaks it down into pixels before displacing them to an image that you specify. So to show you guys an example, we're just going to choose the grid layer as our black layer and the displacement map as our gradient layer. So right now, we'll right click our displacement layer and make it a pre-composition so that we can edit the displacement and animate it as we wish later on. Before carrying on, you guys might want to find a suitable displacement map that you guys can use. So for this, I am going to choose a triangle displacement map. I will put the link of it down in the description below so that you guys can follow along. So we're going to shift the displacement maps to the both ends of the composition and we're going to leave the center of it white to represent a flat ground. So we want to take note that we should feather the mask in the center to around 140 pixels so that the transitions from the triangles to the flat ground will be smooth. So as we head back to the main composition, we should see that the displacement map is below our grid and we should hide the displacement map away. Before adjusting the values of the cut dance, you might want to make a camera so that you can perceive the changes that you're going to make later. So we're going to make a camera and we're going to make a null layer below it. So we're going to link the camera to the null layer and make the null layer 3D. So at this point, we want to make our grid layer 3D and we want to head over to the null layer to adjust around with the X rotation so that we can see the changes and make sure that our layer is in 3D. Right now, we're just going to go back to the cut dance and link our camera system to the composition camera that we just made. So right now, we're going to tell Cut Dance to look up to our displacement layer and take the intensity values of those to edit our original layer. We can do that by selecting intensity 1 at the source and changing around the multiplier to get the values that we want. And this is already kind of what we want, so we're going to add more resolution to the Cut Dance by adjusting the rows and the columns. I'm going to shift my camera to the right position that I want this grid to be and then further lengthen the amount of grid space that we have by using this effect called CC Repetile. And to end off the whole scene creation, we're just going to make the whole grid a gradient color from white to black so that we can use this whole composition as a luma mat later down the road so that only the front of the grid can be seen and the back will be hidden away by a fade. Right now we're going to make a new composition using the grid layer that we have, so drag the grid composition down to the new composition button and make a duplicate of the grid layer. So we're going to make this a luma mat of the layer on top and we're going to apply this effect called fill to have the color on the grid that we want. So I'm adding a solid of the background color to create a sky environment.
As we go back to our grid composition, we can adjust the distance where we want our grid to disappear by adjusting the black value of the gradient ramp. And just to show you guys the cut dance effect can be controlled by a 3D camera We're just gonna rotate the Y rotation of the whole grid around And as you can see, we can still see the displacement even if we are on another angle of the camera However, as you might notice, the downside of this effect is that it takes quite a while to render when you have a high amount of rows and columns And that's basically it for the whole scene creation of this animation so we're gonna head on to the animation section. So to start off the animation, we're gonna start by animating the grid. So head on over to the displacement composition and we're gonna start adjusting the displacements. So make a new adjustment layer on top. So search for this effect called motion tile. So motion tile basically allows us to have a seamless loop of the tile from top to bottom without the need to duplicate it many many times. So we're going to animate the tile center by placing our keyframe at around the 10th second and we're going back to the first frame and adjusting the parameter. And when you hit back to the grid composition, you should already see that there's some animation moving about. This basically happens because we are adjusting the displacement of the cut dance. So the cut dance is affecting the grid and our displacement is affecting the cut dance. And right now, the only thing that we didn't do is basically add a sun in the center. So take the ellipse tool and create a circle in the center by holding shift and control. And we're going to add a simple rectangle that gets smaller when it is duplicated down by adding a repeater to a rectangle. So one final thing before we end the tutorial is that we can animate the grid moving forward by copying the motion tile effect from the grid displacement onto the grid layer itself. And that's basically it for the whole animation. So what you want to do now is add a few effects like glow and VR digital glitch to get the chromatic aberration you want for the post-processing.
And that's basically it for this whole tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how we can animate and style text in order to fit these kind of scenes in After Effects. So keep a lookout to that, and if you have any more suggestions, do leave it down in the comment section below and I'll take a look and reply to y'all ASAP. See ya!